Pearson. And now Kofi and Big E. The New Day is a wrestling stable formed by Kofi Kingston, Big E and Xavier Woods. In this video, I will show you their tag team finishing moves and every finishers of each member of the New Day. The New Day debuted in 2014. Since then, they are using two tag finishers. The Midnight Hour, a combination of the Big Ending and a Diving DDT, mainly used by Big E and Kofi. The Up Up Down Down, a combination of a Pendulum Backbreaker and a Diving Double Foot Stomp, mainly used by Kofi and Xavier Woods. Find out what these wrestling finishers look like in the recap now. Big E debuted in pro wrestling in 2009. He's one of the rare wrestler that never wrestled outside of WWE. Since 2009, he's using an over-the-shoulder facebuster, called the Big Ending as his primary weapon. Since 2019, he used couple of times, the stretch muffler, a submission popularized by Brock Lesnar as the Brock Lock. Find out what these wrestling finishers look like in the recap now. Kofi Kingston debuted in pro wrestling in 2005, and made his debut in WWE in 2006. Since 2006, his main finisher, is a jumping corkscrew roundhouse kick, called Trouble in Paradise. On rare occasions from 2006 to 2011, Kofi won some matches with the SOS and a diving crossbody. Find out what these wrestling finishers look like in the recap now. Xavier Woods debuted in pro wrestling in 2005 as Austin Creed, a character inspired by Apollo Creed from the Rocky series. Before joining WWE in 2010, he used four finishers. His first was a combination of punches called Monte Fisto, used around 2005 to 2007. A leg sweep DDT, called Culture Shock, around 2007 to 2009. A fireman's carry cutter, also called TKO, around 2009 to 2010, and a diving DDT, called ACT, used around 2010-2011. The diving DDT was his first WWE finisher, a move he used in FCW, the old NXT. Find out what these wrestling finishers look like in the recap now. very beginning of NXT, he used a running reverse STO, called Honor Roll. Since 2011, the Honor Roll is referred as his kick-up clothesline. From 2011 to 2013, he used a Tornado DDT and from 2013 to 2015, he used an inverted stomp facebreaker, called Lost in the Woods, a move popularized by Gail Kim as the Eat Defeat. Find out what these wrestling finishers look like in the recap now. Since joining the New Day, Xavier Woods used two additional finishers, the Shining Wizard since 2015 and a ropewalk diving elbow drop, called Limit Break, since 2017. Find out what these wrestling finishers look like in the recap now.
hope you enjoyed the video. Help my channel to grow, leave a like and a comment. Click on the right for more videos, on the left to subscribe. Remember to check complimentary infos in the description such as the full finishers list.